Let's take a look at one of the many quirks of GA4. So Google Analytics is rolling out a new version called Google Analytics 4 GA4. That is this version that we're looking at right here. And one of the many, many quirks of it that makes it kind of a challenge to work with is the way events work. So GA4, if you're not familiar, is totally based on events. Uh, everything, it's based on users coming to a site and then performing events. And everything's about events, where the old version used to be about sessions and page views. Well, the challenge with events is that you can create custom events. As you can see, some of these are custom events. Some of these are default events that GA4 set up automatically for this account. And some of these custom events were created, but we want to change the way these work in this account, right? The challenge with GA4 and one of its many challenging, annoying quirks is that once you create a custom event, you can't get rid of it. You just can't get rid of it. So that event, you can't even modify it so it stops tracking. You can actually modify events. It's a really weird, unusual way to modify things. I mean, I, I kind of get the purpose, but there's no like way to go click and just edit how this event tracks and what fires it. So like this event right here is firing every time somebody hits three page views or more on the site. But then the problem with that event is the way it was set up is that it's firing every single page view after that. Right? So people land on the site, and it's, it's also broken in some weird way. So we want to fix it. The challenge is we can't. Not only can we not fix it, we can't even stop it from tracking. And so because of that, you end up with reports that look like this. This is the user explorer report, and this is showing one individual user. And as you can see, if we scroll all the way, all the way, all the way down here, you can see the session start. So session start, that was an event. That was their session began on the website. They landed on the page. They viewed a page. Another quirk of GA4, you can't actually see what page they viewed over here. Um, makes this whole report a little bit uh, uh, useless. And it's why we are exporting as much into BigQuery as possible, because it's just really, really a challenge to work in this system directly. Um, but let's look at these events. So greater than two page views per, per session. So th this event is broken. It's not even functioning, right? It's the session just began. We had one page view, and now this is tracking as uh, greater than two page views. So that event's broken, and we want to change it. The problem is we can't. That's what's crazy about GA4. We can't modify this event in any way. And so on this account, as you can see, greater than two page views, greater than three page views, these events that are firing like crazy because they were set up uh, in a way like th it's just there's a bug in how they were set up um, and they need to be modified, but they can't. So forever on this profile, unless Google changes something, it is going to be muddied by all these extra events that we just can't get rid of. There's no way to get rid of these. Look at all these. It's firing these things multiple times per page view. So every time somebody visits the site, we're going to have 5, 10, 20 of these events firing off and just cluttering all of the reports, cluttering this user report, cluttering our BigQuery, adding a whole bunch of data, a whole bunch of data to the data that we're exporting to BigQuery because now we have all these extra events and it's tracking every single one of them, right? There's no way to stop that. We can't modify it. And so there are solutions to this. There are workarounds. But it's really quite a challenge, and there are just landmines like this everywhere. So we think it's going to be a pretty big learning curve for most people using GA4, and we really think getting that data out of GA4 into BigQuery is going to be absolutely crucial. Uh, we do this all, all the time for clients, so if you need help with this, reach out to us. Go to our website, uforocks.com, and uh, submit a contact form. Tell us what you need, and uh, we'll get you a quote.